and I was hired, luckily. Uh, at the time, there, for every 400 people, you're lucky if 20 were hired. I got hired on the first application, the first test. Radio raise 308. We have a clerk up here at the hey, hotel having a dispute with a customer. We'll uh, see what's going on when we get here. Hey, I got somebody screaming out here. Somebody just been shot. Stand by. Twenty-seven eighty-eight on the back side. Go ahead and roll another unit to figure out what's going on. Sit down. Oh, oh, sit down. Oh, Chill. Else Where's he been hit? It's in the arm. Hey, hey, hey. Speak ready, twenty-six on him. Okay, I got it. Who shot him? Um, the only thing we it, know uh, that he got in the car with your home. Hey, 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 hey! Get on the ground. Lay down. Get on the ground. Lay down there. Get your hands back. Listen, man. Relax. Everybody, who shot listen. you? Listen. I don't know. Who shot you? I don't know. Man. I don't got nothing to do, man. I ain't got nothing to do with it, man. Let me go low. Let me go low. Let me go low, man. Come on. Sit on the stretcher. <laughs> Strap him down. Come on. Strap him down in here. Strap him down. Him down. Huh? We got him backwards, guys. We got him backwards. I got his legs. 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 Turn him around that way. Turn him around that way. Breathe. Just breathe. Take your time and breathe. Just breathe. Come on. Come on. Settle down. They know you didn't do nothing. Just Back off. Caramel. Get back up. Caramel. Don't squeeze the tail. Come on, Caramel. Come on, we're not taking you to jail. I didn't do nothing. You the officer way by the hallway. You ain't my home. I need a couple officers in. Come here. He told y'all he got shot. But y'all said y'all saw him in Johan's car. When he got in the car, he was telling me to get in the car with him. But I didn't get in the car with him. So Leopold had got in the car with him. Okay. Once he got a car with him, that was it. He was the last person who was with him. Where did the car? You saw the where did the car stand. go? The okay, no, where did it go? Where you said go? you seen him get in the car. Where, where did it go? Where, where did he get shot? Where, was he in the parking lot and he blasted him in the car? No, he got in the car with him. And they rolled off. They rolled and they rolled off, off where? Down right towards Cleveland up or up towards the back up side? Here. Back this way. They never left the parking lot. Oh, back by the palace. Yeah. All right. We come rolling up. We come into the parking lot. We come pulled up to the front desk because we thought it was a dispute at the, at the front desk. They're all on the balcony here screaming, he's been shot, he's been shot. We run around the backside. Security's saying, he's been shot, he's running that way. We come around the corridor, he comes to fight us. He comes swinging. They're saying that they've had, the two have had beef, the, the victim and Johan. Whether it's over dope or whether it's over the girls, they said he got in the car with Johan the car took off. They said they thought it went over to the palace, and the next thing they know, he's coming back over here with no shirt, bleeding, shot, saying he's shot, but he didn't say anything else. Okay. Well, They're riding right. in the ambulance with him because he was. Just, we had to strap him down. It took all of us to get him strapped down. Okay. Yeah. So they're riding with him, and we'll know something from that here in a minute. Okay. All right. 309's got the shooter over at 221. One of the other vehicles located... Uh, the suspect from the shooting. The detective's coming on scene. We're gonna interview the uh, suspect and search the car, see if we can find the weapon. 308, we're out with nine at 221. Hey, you yeah. with him all day. Do you have your ID on you, Johan? He got my ID. Okay. This is the suspect, uh, vehicle to the T. Um, they, uh, 
we went up to the day's end. It was supposed to have been a uh, supposed to been just a fight. We go up, everybody screaming. He shot. He shot. Uh, victim comes out and giant mess. Victim's fighting us. He shot up under the arm. Uh, we get him. We get him taken up to uh, get him taken up to Grady. But they advised that he named uh, Johan specifically that he was the shooter and that it happened inside this car, that he was with him in the car. He was jumping on his girls, slapping them around, jumping on, running, kicking the gate. He kicked the gate up on her. When we pulled up, you know what I'm saying, he, he was kicking the gate. And out there being the girl, he ran inside the gate and swung again and hit this other dude. And the dude was like, wait a minute, man, you ain't finna be hitting me like that. So, you know, they almost got to it, so he behind the gate, so he ran again and wouldn't let him get out the gate. So, the, you know what I'm saying, he all, he all out in the, um, in the field, and he ran to try to jump over the gate, got hung up on the gate, and he swept the toggling on the gate, don't find the guy over, and got at the girl again. Everybody in the apartment seen that. So are you saying that he wasn't shot, he just got No, cut sir, he was, he was cut on the fence up there in B. LaCroix. Okay. He was up there beating them girls. He walked all the way up there to the gate to try to, try to slow, slow the man down, too. Johan is saying that... Uh, the victim cut himself while he was trying to jump over the fence. He punctured himself under the arm. So I'm just going to go back down to Grady. And, you know, since they had enough time to look at him, see if they can determine if that's what actually happened, if he punctured himself or if, if that was a gunshot wound. But we still got to go down there and find out. We'll just see you down there. I was born and raised in Pittsburgh. I went to Penn State University. Which is strange. I actually majored in agricultural sciences. I had an interest in law enforcement being in like father was in the FBI for 35 years. Uh, that kind of turned me on to it. So I had an interest in it. I figured I'll give it a shot. One of our undercover officers uh, down by a local convenience store, he's got some drug activity going on. He's going to give us a call. We're going to move in on a particular vehicle he's got in sight. I don't want to move because the other two guys are still by the car. And I don't know if he's going to get the dope down there by the bank. We'll concentrate on them. Down there. Yeah, exactly. I guess I'll just sit tight until he comes back, and then we know he, he made the deal. All right, Kenny, he got in the back seat of a what looks to be an older blue Oldsmobile Cutlass. He's just sitting in the back seat like he's waiting for somebody in the store. Copy me. Yeah, we copied you. We're going uh, to turn on to Western now. We'll wait till you tell us move in. and. Problem is, we're not going to be able to get the dealer because I have no idea where he's at right now. The car, let's go. Okay. Hit the lights. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Easy, easy, easy. Let me see your hands right now. Hey, hey, he has it in his hand right there. Right there. Has it in his hand. My man, come on out. Keep your hands Come out of the car yeah, now. I got, I got, I am. I got a Quick, I put your hands up there on the armrest. Get him out of the car. Come on, you, get out. You, you out too. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get up on the car. Coming out. Drop your hands. Open your hands up right now. He's got them in his hand. I got them in my hand, man. Just open your hands. You got them in the hand. Put your hands in the car. Just cuff them. Step back. How many has he got? We got five. How much you buy down here? They're new ones. NBA. He's a hoopster. He's stuffing other stuff in it. Three guys in this bar, nothing but women's underwear. All right. You've been resting before? Yes, I have. Okay, what for? For. The same thing, drugs. Okay. So that's what you came down here for tonight. Okay. All right. These guys involved and all? No, they don't have anything. So. All right. Is that all you bought was five? Yeah. Would you pay like ten a bag? Like all right. You've been down here for about fifteen minutes. Yep. Okay. Why were you here this morning? Uh, I was in there. I went to the bathroom, got a drink of water, and I locked my keys in the trunk, so I had to. Get to the back seat to get the keys, you know, and that's what took me so Why'd you go to the trunk? I was, I don't know. I can't remember. You can't remember why you went to the trunk? Yeah. And why I would just, your friend get out of the car and go down 
few blocks. I don't know. I just got out. You two come out, then he gets back out of the car and then leaves. I didn't see all that. For a that. good five minutes, I was... then comes back, and then once he gets back in the car, all of a sudden you can start that car up once he got the dope. Because I just got him out of the trunk. I was digging in there. I swear to God. Okay, let's take a look then. You don't mind? Oh, okay. Okay. Open it up. Trying to clean that stuff up too. What's your name? David. What's this, David? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. You don't know. It's your book bag you just told me before that you this went to the my, trunk to go into your book bag. These are my glasses, yeah. Huh? Yeah, those are my glasses. What? And this is your book bag, correct? Yes, sir. Well, you're under arrest for possession of heroin. It's not mine. It's not yours. You I just... <laughs> that's my book bag. And there's your... Uh, here. The kit's got to be here because right. they this have is, the water. Is, right. this the water's in the car to, for them to cook it and shoot it. There's the other half of the bundle. I knew he bought it. The other half's in here. Don't even Dude, I don't shoot. You want to see my arms? So what do you do? Snort it? Well, I don't snort it. What I would suspect in this book bag is probably a kit where they they shoot the, uh, the heroin, inject the heroin. Which he had no biz you know, no reason to go to the trunk. What he actually bought was a bundle half for the back passenger and half for the so, driver. The stuff that's in the, the heroin in the trunk and what he had on his person match the stamps. It's the same. Stamps same. match. N NBA has a little basketball and a hoop on it. The other guy admitted to uh, using it in a needle. There's a shaving kit in here. Let's see if there's. Yeah, they have their shooting kit in here. Three needles. There's a lot of uh, prescription drugs. Charles, that's the front passenger. He stated that he was diabetic, so we'll have to check that out. Of course, diabetics don't use a cooking spoon. That's exactly what this is. Burnt spoon, cotton on it. Keep the bubbles down after they cook it. It's burnt on the back. The driver says everything in the bag was his except the heroin. And then my guy says that the uh, the shaving kit bag was his. The needles were his for the insulin. But as soon as I pulled out the burnt spoons, right away his story changed, and right. he was saying, "Oh, well, I don't know how they got there." This is the typical scene where they all come in from Out of the city. suburbs and the northern counties for the cheap heroin. Don't come into Pittsburgh to buy your dope. This light that we just passed back here behind us, we saw this uh, car that uh, the driver looked really nervous when he saw us and uh, kind of sparked my curiosity a little bit and he failed to signal his lane change while turning into the parking lot here. So we're going to make a stop on it real quick and find out, make contact, find out uh, what's going on. Hi, Baker 11, can you change this to a 5900, please? How you doing? Okay, go and step out of the car. Turn around. Play spot. Stay right there, okay? Come back over here. What are you doing with all the What are you doing with all the dope? What dope? The marijuana that's all over your shirt and your pot. That when I walked up, it smells like dope in there. I walk up and you got it all over your clothes as if you're trying to break it up and put it under your seats. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That ain't it. Then search my pockets. Uh, I'm already gonna search the car. All right. Okay. What are you doing in this parking lot anyway? We're going to get something. We're deciding what we're going. We're on the phone trying to decide what mm -hmm. we're going to go get. Is that why you freaked out when you saw me? Spread your legs. Right. Checking. You got mirror one on your shirt. All right, come back here. I'll have to put you in my car for now. Okay, you're being detained right now, all right? Hang tight. OK, 
Okay, what's about? Play this car. Back up over here. Okay, you're gonna be detained right now, all right? It's for my safety to figure out what's up. When I walked up to the car, he had marijuana all over his shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, it reeks of marijuana. Okay, I already know there's marijuana. Okay, mm -hmm. so was somebody eating it or what? What do you mean somebody eating it? What were y'all doing with the marijuana? You just breaking it up, about. trying to trash it? I don't know what you're talking about. You know about. what I'm talking about? You, you have no idea I what I'm talking about. No, I don't. So you think I was born yesterday and this is what I do every day and no, you don't know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. You got any ID on you? No, I don't. No ID? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I don't know who he is yet. I gotta do all that. Stand up while you're talking to him and face that way. So what are y'all doing here? Uh, I don't know. I just got in the car with these boys. I don't have nothing. I guess nothing. I mean, no drugs or nothing. I'm cool. Okay, well, tell me about the marijuana he had all over him. Who? The driver. I, he's the one that picked me up. I just got in the car, ma'am. I do not know anything So you didn't about, see what he was doing? No, ma'am. I'm tell not going to sit here and lie to you. I just got in the car, ma'am. Why would I lie to you if I'm on probation? I just okay, hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. What's the deal? You're in the back seat. You can mm -hmm. clearly see the front driver, okay? I'm walking up, and he is all over the back seat, and down here, I'm he's sorry, got man. I just, I just went... I just went to uh, so swim. You're lying, that's okay, you're lying to my No, ma'am, I would not lie to you. I just went swimming, he All picked right. me up. Look, my drawers are even still wet. Okay. Okay, come with me, okay? Let's go over here. Oh, maybe it was bad I didn't get in the car with people. Probably so. All right, man, I'm just... Okay. All right. Right now, you're not under arrest. You're just being detained. Oh, okay, fine, All right? fine. Okay, hang tight. I'll be there. I'd like to be interested in seeing what the driver threw. He threw something. I'm just gonna throw all that in there so we have everything together, okay. We're looking at this seat and as I'm walking up the car, the driver's making all kinds of furtive movements. He's reaching around, here it is, right here. Here we go, marijuana. And uh, he's reaching around and, and when I walk up to the car, immediately he's got all these marijuana flakes all over his shirt. So I just pull him out of the car. And um, of course, the other two passengers in the vehicle know nothing, although they're sitting right by him and I'm sure I heard him totally freaking out that uh, we were behind him. So, here we are. I'm just gonna search the car as thoroughly as possible and see what I can find. <sighs> this is one of the dirtiest cars I've seen. I'm finding buds and I'm finding uh, all kinds of trash everywhere. And, uh, you know, I found a thong laying over here. No one knows how long that's been there. And this is the dirtiest car. I'm gonna have to go home and take a bath. Okay, Samuel, step out here so we can talk about it, okay? Stand right there at the back of the car. So I want to show you everything that was that was out here that yeah, we found in the car. Okay, it, okay. Basically, what happened is this: when I walked up to the car, okay, I saw you moving around. That's what we call furtive movements as a police officer. Okay, you're moving around. Okay. Immediately at that moment, I have every I have every right to search that immediate area around you. But yet, when I look in the car, I see what I know to be marijuana all over your shirt. Okay. Yeah. Which I believe I mean, it was know, tobacco from my cigarettes because I was pulling out a Tobacco cigarette. from your cigarettes? You tobacco know, is brown, marijuana is I mean, green. There's a little bit on my shirt left. I, I believe it's tobacco, but that's besides the point. Okay. So anyway, so at that point and the fact that I can smell the distinct odor of marijuana in the car, right. on top of the fact right. it does not smell like tobacco because tobacco does not smell like marijuana. Exactly. Okay. I pull you out of the car and now here we are. We're searching the car. Okay. Probable right, cause. So okay. So this is what happened. Okay. This is what we found. So a, Underneath a the driver's joint. seat. A joint. That's a fat joint. joint, if you call that one joint. That's the way we roll them. That's one joint? That's a joint. That might be one joint. cigar joint. <laughs> that's That'll fill that, and that'll fill a paper. Really? So that's like a cigarillo and a joint. That's one big fat joint. That's not even... Anyway, not okay. Not even five grams. I, I'll take blame for it since I'm driving it, you know what I mean? I'll take blame for it. I'll take the citation for that. Now, ain't nothing on my shirt. But I mean, I'll take the citation for that because okay, I mean. That's, that's not a citation. Do you remember what I said? Yeah, I heard In you. In Texas, the law I, is a I class thought it B. Was that misdemeanor. Under an ounce is a citation. 28 grams. Less than two ounces. Gives us that uh, extra edge to get up closer to them. Eventually, they do recognize who we are and then we identify ourselves. We're trying to catch up to a vehicle for uh, excessive tint on the windows, loud music, stupid traffic stop.
3784 emergency. Thirty-seven eighty-four emergency. We got a vehicle taking off on us. We're going down Robinson. He just made a uh, right turn onto Terra Street. It's a silver older Chevy Lumina. One black male driver inside. Just made a left onto uh, Burroughs. Burroughs. And a left onto the dunk car. Coming back to Robinson. He just made a right onto Robinson. Going down towards Fifth. Joey, just toss the gun out, man. You see it? Still going down towards fifth. Rate of speed is, right now we're going 40 miles an hour. He just turned uh, on to Fifth Avenue. Going inbound. Going inbound on fifth. Continuing inbound on fifth. We're getting ready to uh, approach uh, Kirkpatrick here. I'll give you the plate when I get it. It's Foxtrot. All right, he's pulling over here. We got him stopped on Fifth Avenue. Shut your car off! Shut your car off! Put your hands up! Keep him up! Unlock your car! Shut it off! Step out of here. Slide over here. You got what on you? Cough him up. Turn around. Scuff him up. Scuff him up. For some reason you want to stop for us? Sir, I didn't want to go to jail for it, sir. That's it. For what? I got marijuana in my pocket. You had more marijuana. We're going to go back and get what you just threw. I just got off of work, sir. We're going to go back and get that gun you just tossed out. Right up the uh, alley went down. Right Was that the cater? 3784. 3784. Go ahead. 37 back. Turn around. Now's the time to talk to me, man. Sorry, I don't want to have weed in my pocket. You didn't just run because you had weed. Yes, sir. We're going to go back and get what you got. Then your attorney's going to be talking to me and begging me for deals, but there ain't going to be no deals. We're going to go back and get that gun you just threw. You hear me? I don't have no gun, sir. You don't have no gun. I just got marijuana in my pocket. You just got marijuana in your pocket. You just did all this for marijuana in your pocket. I don't want to go to jail, sir. I'm scared. You did all this for this, is what you're telling me. I don't me. want to go to jail, sir. You're going to lead us on a pursuit. Sir, I got a Almost crashed into vehicles one. for this. Come on, man. You kidding me? I just got off of work, sir. Make that left there. Hey, let's go up, Joe. Let's let them watch him and let's go up and get what he got. All right, they're gonna stay here and watch us. You guys mind watching him for a second? We'll go back up and retrace the steps. This is called in by a child. I don't know if it's gonna be a bogus car or not. Here to toss the firearm outside this alley up here. Is it Dunbar? I said Decatur, huh? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Right here on the street. Right there. There's his gun. Told you. There's his magazine. They try to buy time, get rid of their gun, and hope that we don't find it. He just, uh, we were on him so he didn't get a chance to get a real good jump on us. All they want to do is get away from you long enough so you don't see him, and then they pitch it and hope that you don't, you know I mean, you don't come back and get it or find it or you don't see him pitch it. But in this case, we were right on him. He didn't have time. We're going to go back and talk to him, see if we can get the uh, story of why he threw the gun out the car. <laughs> You want to talk to him? Yes. And read him his rights? Yeah, Slide down. Slide, Slide down. down here, man. So what did I tell you? Right you got to talk to me, man. It's your last chance to talk to us. Because after this, you're going to jail. I want to know where you got the gun from. 
And if it's stolen, you gonna tell me? Look, man, this is the time to help yourself out. You're not gonna talk to me at the hearing, it's gonna be too late. I'm the guy you're gonna be dealing with. Where'd you get the gun? Yeah, you can have your t-shirt. Where'd you get your gun? You're getting charged with the VUFA. You're getting charged with fleeing and looting. You're getting charged with the marijuana, reckless driving. And if you're a convicted felon, you're gonna get 61 to 5. And you're gonna be sitting downtown for a while. Let's go. You had your chance. Remember. Chances are he's a convicted felon, he is. and if he is, he's, he's a, what we call under our, our statutes a 6105. Right now, a lot of these guys are getting uh, brought up into the federal system, so they're not charged at the state level, they're charged at the federal level, which uh, means a lot more time. The federal system here is no joke. My area's got a lot of everything in it. In specific, though, I like to focus on the narcotics. I like to get uh, I like to get out with the people on the streets, walking around, hanging out in front of the uh, crack houses, narcotic locations where stuff's been sold at. We're getting ready to pull over this vehicle. I just ran a tag. It came back to a uh, white Ford. It's uh, the vehicle we're getting ready to stop. It's a, a red vehicle. Also, he was having trouble maintaining his lane. He was weaving a little bit, so he might be a little bit drunk or intoxicated. So we're getting ready to pull him over and see what happens. West Side Drive. We'll be getting out with that tag. It'll be on a red Mustang. Unknown occupants pulled up. What's going on, man? Officer Pendergrass, Chattanooga Police Department. The reason I'm pulling you over, tags registered to a white Ford. You obviously got a red one here. Right. You got your license with you tonight, man? Yeah. Where are you guys coming from? Where are you headed to? Okay. Where are you headed to? Mine, Absolutely nothing I need to know. The reason I'm asking, one, you freely offered me a oh, baggie. No, it was well, hold up, hold up, hold up. You freely offered me a baggie that was empty. What? Two, you're shaking like I'll get out. The, That's like a sign of guilt, it isn't it? He just okay. took. Okay. Sorry, do me a favor, man. Just go ahead and step out. Memorial. He took me down to Memorial to meet him. Okay. There you go. Hey, there's a knife on his seat. Put your hands on the car and don't move. Is there anything illegal you don't even know about, man? No. Nothing at all. Anything in the car? No. Nothing at all. No. From this point on, if your hands move, we have a problem. No. If I find something illegal, I'm gonna charge you with it. No. We got an understanding? No. All right. Why don't you do me a favor, man? Spread your feet for me. You got anything on you need to know about? It's amnesty hour. If you no, tell me, no. where's it at? Don't reach for it. Right Good. There, See, man? You've got more than one baggie. Right. Throwing it in the car. Step up. Come around. There you go. Hand on the back of the car. I didn't. I don't even drink, and I know he wasn't 24. drinking. So. Using this address, go ahead. You call the number of So why were you so against us searching your car? Because of like that, I didn't even know that beer can was in there, and I don't drink. Beer can's not yours. Beer I can's know. his. No. -uh. Beer can was in reach of him. Right. His beer can's cold. Beer can's cold. Just his smell. seat's wet with beer. His floorboard's wet Look, with beer. I know you don't no, believe me. No, you can sir. smell his breath. I promise you, no, man. No, sir. I have not been drinking. We just I'm dropped sorry. a buddy sir, in. Your seat is wet with beer. The can is cold. The floorboard has beer in it. Now, right. it's one of two things. It's either yours, or he handed it to you. Tell you what, I'm gonna write you a ticket for the registration. Okay, you're gonna go to court on it. Yes. I'm gonna write you a citation for arrest on the up container. You're gonna go to jail and the court on that. But that Since ain't nobody wants here, man. Man, what's up, dude? I got my hey. mullet. Oh, dude, yeah. this ain't even me, man. Officer Pendergrass. Officer Pendergrass. <laughs> I, I promise you, man, man everything, man. That beer I ain't stay at home, and I had to go to the hospital, man. This up, dude. You know that ain't my yeah, ain't news, man. Okay, hold on. 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 Hold on
all that. I swear that boy can tell you where it was at, what kind it is, and everything. Man, I can take you to witnesses where I've been and look, everything. Man, look, it's gonna be all right, man. Man, mama. Man, I gotta take care of my mom and stuff. And now I'm out. How long have you been out? I'm on bond. Guys, he you wants to put you back in the car and talk another like five minutes and try to get your story straight. Man, I don't need to talk to nobody, man. I'll tell you. I swear to God. Ricky, I'll go in the Man, I can't. Just do me a favor. Come out here, sit on this hood. Where's he going? Sit on it. Hey, man, where are you going? Get out of the car. I thought you said get the car. Get out of the car. What are you doing? Nobody told you to get in the oh. car. You keep your hands right where they're at. Excuse me. What's up your your friend? Why 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 is he so upset? Don't call me man. Officer. I know what it looks like, man. Officer, I promise you, man. This is not this weird. Um I can tell you, man, citation in lieu of. Okay, so you're not going to jail tonight, alright? Thank you, sir. Charging you with open container. What I need to do, man, is just sign the X. It's not admission of guilt. It just simply states you understand the citation. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, man. Just take it and just remember, lesson learned. All right. Yeah. Learn Have a good night. It. I agree. Learn from it. Go sit in your car. It's a citation for registration violation. If you can somehow get that car fixed and get that registration fixed, man, you may not even have to have the emission for that. Just call them and say, hey, look, I painted my car. It's not white anymore. It's red. Change it. All right? I didn't think about that. I know. Here's both of y'all's IDs. Just give your buddy his back for me. You guys be safe. Have a good night. All right. It's all about the trouble, man. Hey, man, no problem. <laughs> I hate to see a grown man cry, but, I mean, it's personal responsibility. If you mess up, you got you to gotta take responsibility for what you do. I mean... He's getting off easy tonight. I hope he understands it. And just count this as a hard lesson learned. All right, right now we're headed to a family disturbance. A wife called and told us that she and her husband were uh, in a verbal argument. Right now they were fighting as the uh, husband just found out that their son or their child uh, has an alternative lifestyle. And he's, uh, he was threatening to hit her and this child at this time. But uh, as of now, it's only verbal and he doesn't know she called. Hello, how are you? Come on out here. Okay, what's your name? My name's Joe. Okay, how you doing? All right. Talk to me. Okay. Joe, yes. tell me what happened today. Uh, we just had a little argument. Uh, uh, we were watching, first we were watching TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, my, my wife, she liked to watch Trade and Spouse. And they had this guy that was, uh, 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 how would you say, a homosexuality on it. And I said, well, if my child is a homosexuality, I wouldn't own him. And I said, I have a daughter. And I said, if it was a boy, I might chastise him every day. To, to uh, make sure that uh, 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 he'd be a man. Let me ask you, how old is your daughter? Uh, my daughter is only 16 months old. She's okay. a little baby. So She's asleep. You're, okay, well, yeah. the information that we got mm -hmm. is that y'all are arguing about a child who was homosexual. Is this not true? We ain't got no child that's homosexual. Okay, so y'all are arguing about something that isn't On even... On TV. Okay. okay. On TV. I'm pretty clear now. Yeah. Hang tight for me one second, okay? I'm going to get my partner out here All with right, you. Sit down. Sure, have a seat. Hello, how are you? Okay. Y'all were watching a TV show. Trading spouse. And okay. there was a young man on there who um, appeared like he was gay. And my husband started saying, if we ever have a son and he acts like that, I'm going to start beating him every day until he becomes a man. And I was trying to explain to him that you can't do that. You know, you have to just support your children and teach them what you believe. And when they make their own decisions, you still love them. Right. And he just kept getting angrier and angrier. So I decided to go upstairs. And he ran up there and was screaming at me and stuff. So I got frightened because he has pushed on me and hit me before and knocked me into walls. And so I decided... Has there ever been any police reports filed on that? I have two case numbers upstairs. 
Um, Did you file charges on him at that time? No, because things changed and, and he stopped. And then he, over the past several months or so, he's been like coming home in a bad mood and shut up and, you know, just starting up again. So I just... And your daughter is 16 months old? Okay. Okay. So the info, because the information we got was totally different. We had gotten that y'all already had a child, actually a son, that y'all found out was having this alternative lifestyle and that he was going to strike you and the child. Did he threaten to hit you tonight? He, he, he threatened to um, hit a child that doesn't exist. And like I said, well, what about our daughter, Joy? Because we do have a little girl. I said, what if she comes home and says, I'm a lesbian? I said, you know, he said, and then he said, well, I'm going to beat on her too until she decides to be a woman. We can do a couple things here. First of all, this is your, your house too. You don't have to leave, okay? He cannot make you leave. This is your residence. We cannot put you out on the street. If you want to leave with, freely and willingly, that's by your choice. So what do you want to do tonight? I think I have to leave. Okay. Do you think he's going to give you a problem when you try to leave with the child? Yeah. I think it's going to be bad. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. We cannot decide a custody issue thing right now. Know, with most of the child, the child, most of the time, the child goes with the mom. I mean, if you want to get the child, we're not going to rip the child out of your hands. Or we're not going to let him rip the child out of your hands. So if you want to get some stuff stuff packed for you and the child, we'll stand by. Okay. Okay. Did he get your information? Um. Yeah. Name, address, and telephone. Number. Okay. I'm going to write a family disturbance on this. Okay. So there will be documentation of us coming, and we'll give you the case number in a minute. Okay. Okay. So if you want, let's go ahead and pack some things. Okay. Okay. Put my shoes on, and that's it. And I didn't even grab her anything to play with, but oh well. He's gonna start screaming mostly about house keys. And we, he, you, don't, you do not have to give up anything. I know, I know. Okay, so we can work on getting this. Just do not put the baby down. Keep walking, keep All walking. Right. Let me kiss my baby before y'all go, sir. Okay. That's cool. You can do that. All right. Okay, baby. Okay, you go over. You have a beautiful baby. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. Well, surprisingly enough, he didn't get too upset like we had anticipated. How do you feel? I'm still nervous. He doesn't know I'm not coming back. <laughs> Okay, well, he doesn't have to know that tonight. Sorry, Abby. Okay. Thank y'all so much. You see that car, Adele? Happy Father's Day to my husband, the head of the house. Yeah, yeah. With well, lots of love from the CEO, chairman of the board, president, manager of the house. Oh, that's well and good. I believe that. Mm -hmm. You know, but still, as head of the house, there are laws that I must abide by. So I must filter them down to my offsprings and to my wife. And that is submission. You got to submit. I mean, a woman is so powerful that <laughs> you women have too much power. God came. <laughs> well, we're not going to get into all that right now, <laughs> wait a minute, obviously. Wait a God came okay. to me <laughs> and said, said, woman, <laughs> can you please just submit to your husband? Women, submit to your husband. Why? Because Eve was so powerful, she made Adam willfully commit treason against God. You see? I see where you're going with it, but we're not going to be able to solve the world's problems and, and no, figure all not. that out right now. No, we're not. I just want to make sure you were clear, and I've got to go. I'm clear on it. And, and you're I cool. Thank you for it. I'm cool. Is she going to a mom?